Hello, beloved. This is a channel message and discussion uh, from the ancestors' mothers, the first teachers that gave birth to civilizations, our first doctors, our first nurturers, our hunters, our protectors. I want to talk about that for a minute. And I want to talk about a uh, black woman. This message is for you, you know, uh, directly for you dark-skinned woman, because I don't think you understand, you know, you've heard me talk about matriarch to patriarch, but I, I want to put it into you in the words that, that, that was channeled to me through the ancestors, because it's really on me today. You have been, you don't know to what extent you, we have been robbed. You can't even imagine what happened to our ancestral mothers going through this change to get to patriarchy. The rape, the pillage, the the you know, robbery, burglary, forgery, what was taken from us, the writings, the knowledge that has been flipped over on us, and we have been put in these subordinate roles and have wield so much power within us. I'm talking to you. And now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Why you think so many women are owning businesses? Why you think so many women are rising up talking about their relationships with men? This ain't got nothing to do with me, uh, woman against man. This is about balance, getting things back to where they used to be. And our men needing to know what their place, because they've already admitted that we're God, but you're not going to admit the place that you need to be in, sir. But I'm going, I'm here to tell our sisters today. I'm here to remind them. You need to remember, beloved, remember that you are God. Everything begins with you. We are really starting to wake up, but now it's time to walk in it. And set these 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 um, standards for our men so they can rise in their consciousness. Because y'all, ain't nobody finna keep playing with you. We're not subordinate to you. You supposed to be listening to what we tell you to do. That's what you supposed to be doing. Not listening to the hype. That's, that's, that is your place. But see, now is the time that we got to set the standards and get your mind right. Because we need you right in order for things to get back to where they need to be. You need to get your mind back right. You This patriarchy stuff, that you, this programming, that you, you got to let that go. I'll let, no. You were programmed to do what we asked you to do. That's what you was, you was programmed to do. Get your ego aside. Black woman, what has happened to you? When you look at these pyramids, when you look at these mounds and all this stuff around the world, because you talk to the land, the land is going to tell you the truth. You ain't even got to look at the history book. The landmarks around here speak to you. They will tell you the truth. Look at all those mounds and stuff. Those were our birthing and ritual systems. Women had these roles. We had control of the rituals. We had control of wielding that power down. With us, we had a special relationship with this planet. We were the spiritual overseers. Could nothing be done until they came to us first, to the spiritual overseers. And we'll go to the ancestors and talk to the spirits and talk to the land and see was it okay with the spirits of the land and with the ancestors. You ain't seen no human trafficking and all that stuff because we had we were we were bountiful. We were humans was in, living in there was golden civilizations. We were living in our golden age when women ruled. Men, you come from us. Go back and listen to that 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 story that uh, Bill Carson he talks about how we gave birth to the first man. If you listen to Queen P, she'll tell you too about the genetics. We got the XX chromosome. You got the XY. Something is genetically up. You, you were modified 
to accompany us. Man, you were modified to a company woman. We are the superior beings, beloved. Get out your ego and get in your place. See, this is the problem right now. And some of these women go along with this patriarchal thinking that men are supposed to be uh, over women. That is totally false. Again, they wrote this Bible. The patriarchs wrote this Bible. And when they was writing this Bible... You better notice that they were weaving it around these Egyptian Chaldean spiritual enlightened women to give themselves acknowledgement and validation and spiritual authority. That's what they were doing when they were making sure that these women were put in this Bible. Why, why now? It, it, it's so important for you to go back and read that Bible. At first in Genesis, you got all these men beginning, beginning, beginning. But all of a sudden, they start mentioning having a baby with these women. Why? Why? Because we have always, it always began with us. It always began with us. Okay? And it's going to end with us. No man, if you go back and read their Bible, they are already telling you, ain't no man going to be able to set this right. And they're correct. No man is going to be able to do it. No man. Listen to what I'm telling you, ladies. What has happened to us so much. Do you know how many of your ancestor mothers was raped and killed when they had to put this patriarchy into, in, into play? You know how many were raped and killed and sold into slavery? Their land, everything taken from them, divided? Again, we have these Moors setting up these civilizations. It started right there in Egypt. And if you look at those Moors, they, they, and I, I guarantee you, they can trace their descendants all the way back to the Egypt to the first mother. That's when I see these men that do so many great things and they're king. Where's their mother? Because that was their first teacher. Their mother was their first teacher. Mother is always the first teacher. But men seem to forget that. The woman is always the teacher. Because you don't have, you was not born with that type of intelligence and power. You would have to really earn it by character work. And a lot of you have not did the character work. You don't know what that means. That's why we're in the position that we're in now. That's why we're in uh, human trafficking is it, 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 out of control. Women and children are abused. That's why we have these CPS. That's why we have better, you know, women's shelters. That's why we have that. Men, let's just keep it real. You've had your chance. You've had your opportunity to set things right and you have not did it. You have not done it. And black women, you know, it is a reason why we are on the rise for owning businesses. We're on, we are starting to work, walk away from these relationships. It is it's something deeper going on here. And it's time for us to get back in our formation, get back, start walking back in our power. And this ain't got nothing to do with no man hate. This don't have nothing. So get that out of your mind. Get that out of your mind. This is the balance of things the way they, they are to be. You're going to be seeing a lot of changes going on here, uh, uh, men. And women, get ready. You best to get ready. If you're not taking self-defense classes or whatever, because see, these a lot of these men that got hard-headed. They don't want to listen. Did you listen? Did you listen to Charleston uh, uh, White, the things that he said? Talking about he can cheat on a woman and, and you know, he ain't got to tell a bitch this or her. I'm just like, oh my God. This is how y'all treat y'all queens? And I've heard many of them. You know, and I don't mean to call any of them out, but y'all tell these stories of when you guys rule. You stroke your own ego and you talk about when patriarch came in and man did this and man did that. But how was you able to do it if it wasn't for, her, for your mama? <clears throat> if your mama had stuck her titty in your mouth, you wouldn't be here. That go for any Pharaoh or more or any of that. 
Well, are they mothers? That is the first teacher. You just forget all about that. Just like this father, son, Holy Ghost crap. They got up in church. They totally forget Jesus' mama. And come to find out, this woman is, is a sibyl. She's divine in her own right. She comes from a divine lineage. See, we don't know the stories of our ancestors' mothers. We know the story of these men. Again, more of this programming because they want to tell us their story and how they was great. And then turn around and tell us how we should be bowed down to them. <clears throat> After you just sold us out, sold half of our land, went around and started mating with these women, <clears throat> sold us out, and now you're going to try to tell us to bow down to you. And you got to see it in all their religion. All their religion, they want to keep the woman subordinate. You get something out of it. It's very parasitic. I'm getting parasitic vibes from that. Go back and read that Bible. That Bible is totally about man and his morality. And, and not one of them in there can maintain morality most of them were forcing themselves on these women. Then you got them going to these brothel temples. Yeah, they talk about these brothel temples that these men was going out to having sex with other women. You got all that going on, prostitution, all that going on in that Bible. You even got Lot willing to sacrifice these women, this homosexuality. He's willing to sacrifice his, his daughters. That's, that's that you know something right then, then and there. These women of color are being sacrificed. And if you even go back in the, in, in the history, and you look at this witch hunt stuff, all that stuff was about, about us. It was about killing and stamping out our spiritual practices. All of it was, was it together. We had women doctors that was doulas. You know, we had a connection with the land, with the medicine on the land, the herbs, and all of that. We had a connection with all of that. Black woman. You will see in some of those shows, what is that, uh, Conan the Barbarian? Uh, what was the other show? It was another show, too. Some type of superhero show. I'll think of it in a minute. But they were kidnapping these, these black sorcerers, these black sibyls. Because they were psychic. This goes all the way back. This goes all the way back to Egypt. We already knew how to astral travel and all those things. We taught this too. We taught this occult, esoteric knowledge in Egypt. It started with us women. It didn't start with them. They start changing, changing stuff and taking credit for stuff. But if it started with them, I'm going to put it like this. If it started with them, how come them ain't they they never ascended with this morality thing here in this world? How come it hasn't manifested in this world with any man in control? How come that golden age has never manifested in this world? You can try to blame it on the white man. You you can. But we should have ascended. I mean, I can even go back to the 70s and the 60s when there was a lot of pimping going on when black men was, again, pimping women of color. Again, we're told in the bearing, uh, 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 the burden of their dysfunction. And it's no longer, we're no longer doing it. They even like to blame too. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the black home was split up when, you know, we when when welfare state was put in and and women you know they couldn't stay the husband couldn't stay there any longer. You weren't doing that when you was there. You weren't doing nothing when you was there. You were messed up then with that patriarchal stuff. Want to jump on somebody, leave somebody, doing stuff you ain't got no business doing. <clears throat> 
and you were programmed, you're being programmed that that's okay. Again, that, again, that is a colonization bringing up, bringing that stuff up in that dynamics. We were colonized by these people. That's not how things going. That's not how we 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 rule nations. It always came. We was we you do what we say because we the one have the spiritual insight and the connection with the land. That's how it's been. Now you want to sit up and call a black woman God? You better know your place. Don't be sitting up here talking at the side of your neck. And black women, it's time for us to get in our place. You can't imagine what they took us through. The rape. <clears throat> Having to be with people we don't even want to be with to protect our land because they over there selling us out. We had to marry with these French men. And then at some point, all of them got together and wanted to put women in subordinate place. But women, we, we didn't have that problem. We already knew who was the who who was what and what was what. We were more concerned about peace, feeding our people, and making sure our families was healthy and then teaching them how to live off the land and to respect the land. That is the type of society we have. That was the type of education we have. This stuff you see now up in these schools and stuff, we didn't have, have that. We had a, a, an advanced civilization because everybody was learning this knowledge. Our children knew the plants. They knew how to live off the land. They know how to build their house. We taught this to them firsthand. They didn't have to go to no school. Now, we, now our children don't know any of this knowledge. Our men, look at our men. We have to start all over again and reset the generational line. We can't even fool with these men because it would be, be pointless to raise a generation of advanced civilizations with them. We can't do it. It's going to be these young people. Maybe they, they can restart it. But young people and young, young women, hold these men to a higher standard. We want advanced civilizations that know how to go back to the land and look at the land. Go to those mounds. Go to the Umfei, because that's what they were called at first, Umfei, birth and ritual centers. Place where we harness energies and did rituals. And call on the great spirit. Go back to those places. Go to the mountains and go down there and talk to those ancestors because they're ready to talk to you. They talk to me all the time. I can hear them very loud and clear. Start doing your rituals down there, connecting with the land. This is your ancestors' land. And see, that's a big smoking gun, too. I can't wait till that knowledge come out. Where they sit up here trying to jack everything up, all the prices of things. Woe to the day. That the empress of this land, all the empress of this land, get back. Get that knowledge back and get that paperwork. It, it's going to be over for a lot of these, these colonizers. It's going to be over for a lot of these colonizers. Once a lot of us women start waking up and learning how to go back, reach back, and get, get back what's rightfully ours. Because I'm going to tell you where that land. You can see that uh, when, when they talk about uh, another example of this. Is when you see the French men coming over here, marry the women of Americas with the Creoles and the Cajuns. Some of these women, they were, they were, they were indigenous. These, some of these women were from here. They were from here. They wasn't. They were. They were. They were Indians. They were Aborigine women that married some of these French men. Why do you think these French men was trying to marry these women? Because they owned the land. They owned the land. That's what you see. Going on there when you see these these uh uh French men, these men come from these other areas from, from uh, to the Americas, married at Pocahontas and all that stuff. That's because that the woman owned the land. They could tell you there was a chief chief or whatever, but we had caciques. We had women. You you had to go through the spiritualists first. We had a connection with this land. The land was always passed on to the woman. 
because our connection with the, the our cosmic connection with everything that's where it's cosmic, cosmically set up and we have a link back to the first mother that's why our intuition is the way it is that's why we're born the way we are we have a natural connection back to the first mother. See, we didn't have this type of issue, no racism and all that stuff. See, this this will only happen between men when they playing stupid shit and then turn on each other. Ain't that what they do? That's what you see go on. I'm telling you, that is what, what happened here, one women. And when you wake up, it's time for you to wake up. I, You know, I really don't think you understand what has happened to you. How many ways we have been portrayed. And the work that we have to do to raise these men to a hand of high standards and teach them. Because they've been programmed. And for those of us women that are awake and we know what's, going, what's up and what's going on, you know... Do what you got to do. Because he got to be here. This is the only way to spark him to, to wake up and do some real healing. Because if you just say, we, if, if you say us by, we're God, then call us by our name. And you better damn it act like it. And come correct. A white man or nothing ain't in your way. You in your own way with your thinking. You in your own way with your thinking. And we need you to do better. Real quick in a hurry. Because we got work to do. And we want things to go back to where they were, was. And if you want to right the wrong that was done. Yeah, we got work to do. You got these French men. And I got this in my book. It says the foreign men in some way made our ancestral mothers think they needed to marry these foreign men to help protect the ancestral mother's land. Many of these children born, born from the marriages would later call themselves French, Cajun, Creole. Basically, they were biracial children. The French and the Spaniards seemed to have a friendly relationship with the Aborigines in the Louisiana Purchase areas. There are a fluctuation of many French men, Spaniards, men marrying Aboriginal women. I don't know if the marriages were all authentic. French Marquise de Masson Rogue married into the empirical family of Washita Empress Claire C. Anne Marie. It was no surprise the marriage was never given recognition by the Roman Catholic Church. You had the Roman Catholic Church. Go back and see that movie too, Borgia. Go see the movie Borgia because it talks about how these uh, patriarchs with the Catholic Church began to colonize uh, these places of color. But yeah, and this woman, this Empress of Washita, she can praise her descendants all the way back to the old ancient Egypt. You hear what I'm telling you here? Do you understand what I'm telling you, women? That's why I call this the old Egypt. Mississippi is the old now. Mississippi River is the old now. Arkansas River is the now river. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that these places, these mound places here, these ancient, these are power systems, ancient power systems that we can tap into as women, as people of color. We're tapping back to our most ancient ancestors, reaching back, gaining that power. It's time for you to remember who you are. Remember what happened to you. Remember how much you carried. You can hear it on the land. I've channeled this energy. I wrote this book. You know, I can't I can't emphasize enough how important this message is for you, beloved. It's important. You need to understand what happened to you. You are heard black men talk about it. I posted about it. But it's time for you to remember. And this ain't no hate and man hate. 
You know, I love what Queen P is doing. And a lot of, of us other women out here is doing, not just me. We're bringing back that feminine energy. We're taking our wife a place. And you best to line up, buddy. You best to get yourself together, buddy. Because our ancestor mothers have spoken. It would be no more, no more of that, that junk. You need to get your mind right. And be the men that we need you to be. Put your ego to the side. That's what you need to do. You go around here telling all these magnificent stories and stuff. Oh yeah, the black woman is God, but let me keep on stroking my ego and start talking about what, what, what my daddy did and what my grandpa did. And you ain't did nothing because we're still going in the same circle. You haven't made a choice to get us all out of here. I, I trip out. I trip out never talk about that. And I never forget what Omar Johnson, that scandal happened. Now, it wasn't even a scandal. He just had sex with the exotic dancer. But the way he threw her up under the bus, though, the way he talked about her, the way you, you used her, that's, that's the shit I'm talking about right there. The way he used her, you had sex with her, and then threw her up under the bus like she wasn't nothing. Really? But you when you was willing to sleep with her and, and, and get her donations or whatever she was doing for you. See, that very parasitic. This is the parasitic behavior I be talking about. And this is the very parasitic behavior that has to change because they learned this from the colonizer. They learned this behavior is okay and it's not. It's not. Now you better get with it. You better get with the program. See, this is another reason, too, why, y why this stuff happened with the police br brutality with y'all. Y'all get caught up in the system like that. Because if you was doing what you were supposed to be doing, you wouldn't be getting caught up. In, in, most of y'all wouldn't be, be getting caught up in the system like that. You need to be tending to the families of black people. Tending to the interests of black women. Not stroking your own ego. All the stuff that didn't happen to this planet. All our sacred places ruined. Now we got other entities and energies rolling about here. We have work to do. Black woman, remember what happened to you. It's time to tap back into that spiritual power. It's time to tap back in to that spiritual essence. You know, our ancestors, they have wrote books for us. There's no reason why we shouldn't. This sister here, she wrote her book. Vivian Hunter Andrew, she wrote her book. I wrote my book. You need to remember who you are, black woman. Because see, this is this is the uh, uh, literally the reason why these men get away with the shit that they do, and the shit that come out their mouth, and then wonder why don't no woman want them? Because you you don't you don't run nothing. You don't run anything. Didn't want to run off to these other places and marry other women. They don't want you either because they held they men to a higher standard. It's time for your ass to grow up. It's time for you to man up. And be the man that we can be proud to marry, to walk beside. Stop with the shenanigans. Get your money, get your paper up, get all that. There's no reason why you can't do it. Because us women doing it all the time. You're putting us in a position to do it. This ain't got nothing to do, you know, until y'all get yourself together. <laughs> uh uh. No. You're very, very sick. You don't realize how sick you are. We're all sick and we're trying to heal. 
And women of color, when you've done your healing and you realize who you are and how powerful you are and what you deserve because you are the empress, you are a goddess, you are God in form, and you can't operate in less in a frequency lower than that, you ain't going to be wanting to fool with him. I don't care how much of that hotel stuff he calling. Call and all that type of stuff. If he ain't walking a walk and listening to a spiritual guidance and listen to what's coming from you and his relationships with others, his family and you are not well, then he has work to do. We got to work on that ego. That's something that was the colonizer gave you. And you're going to have to give that up, brother. Because that, that particular thing right there is getting in the way. Your story is over. You, you guys have had your time. It's time for mama to come back. It's, it's time for us to connect back with the land. You need to know what happened to you, black woman. You don't, you, uh, like I said, you don't, you don't really understand. You do not really understand the rape, the killings, all that was taken from us, our temples, where these popes sitting up in here now, that's where our symbols, you had women who were prophetess that were sitting on these thrones, where you see the Vatican is now. Women had, though, can you imagine nothing but women, prophetess, seers. They were teaching that. Channeling messages straight from the divine. Some of those temples were, were built on these sacred sites where they cut down these mad big trees. Rituals was done in, in some of these, you know, mounds, in some of these pyramids. There were power centers, like nuclear systems systems and stargates where we can go into different dimensions and different times yeah we had that we had all that going on here in the matriarch culture it was divided and robbed some of us taken advantage of raped all of that happened here. When you go back and look at the Queen Caliphia, she was an empress. She was, she was a head of the Holy Empress Army. She protected all the land. She had a special relationship with all the Aborigine people. I talked about this in my book. In the book. See, when you don't understand what happened to us, we had a whole nation. We ruled in Atlantis. That's what that was the sacred thing. See that best all that's, that knowledge is hidden from you. Until these men took over. Till there was a divide that went over. They wanted to see another type of civilization. Then they came in contact. We then we had a inter uh what did you call that? Uh, intergalactic, uh, out of galactic uh interference, a cosmic interference from these other things coming here as well. Having our disagreement with our other counterparts. So much has happened to us. Black woman, remember who you are. Remember the stories. What, listen, pay close attention when they saying you God, but telling their own damn story. And see, I want, I want, I want them to stop doing that. Stop in the same breath, stroke your uh, uh, your own ego, and then go back and say the black woman is God, but then have no respect for her. It's so easy for you to disrespect a woman. It's so easy for you to hurt your significant other. 
and get up under your friends and be, you know, y'all, y'all emotionally something is something wrong with you because you're emotionally attracted to each other. You one step uh, of sleeping with each other with this emotional attraction you have for each other. And you have no emotional connection with the black woman. You don't know why she do the things she do and why she don't want to be bothered with the bullshit that you do. She got to lower her standards to be with you. She got to go 50-50 with you. For what? Why should we have to go 50-50 with you when we are... Are you serious right now? Why should we have to lower our standards to, to, to be with you and we raise gods? We can't rest in our feminine energy because you want us to go 50-50 because you ain't got no type of stamina or respect or know your place. Are you serious? In the same breath. You want me to go 50-50 with you and pet you and raise you up and put, put you up and stroke your ego. But you ain't going to talk about my power. How I wield my power. I'm, I, we don't wield no more power to them. Don't wield no more power to them. Until they understand who really got the power. Who really got the power. Women understand what's going on here. And it's not against a, a, a black man. This is not against man against woman. This is about getting back to the balance of things. They even know in that about that with neither one of them will balance it will they will not be the one to put things back in place i'm gonna tell you that now they're not going to be the ones to do it their job is to uplift us and put us back where we need to be only then will, will they regain that status and power and we got to hold them to that if we ain't nobody finna go 50 50 with you you gonna get out there and you gonna learn some skills just like we had to do we raise families and all that by ourselves. We have done enough of that. And if we're going to take your hand in marriage, it won't be no 50-50. We're raising children here, civilizations here. We're going to rest in our feminine energy, and we're going to connect spiritually, and we're going to raise our gods. If you ain't willing to do that, then you need to go on about your business. And this ain't about no polygamy thing to make you look good. To prop you up because you, you don't want to get out there and do what you need to do. Y'all better put y'all heads together. Every culture is taking care of their women except for y'all. Most cultures got a very high standards for their women except <laughs> y'all. And you want to lower our standards and lower our values for you. No. No! I won't pass this on to my children. I would let not have my girls or my daughters to lower their value for you lower value men. You are lowering your own value. You are lowering your own value. No women. That's why I said we got to got the, a better standard. A better standard. And we're going back to the land. And we're listening to our ancestors' mothers. We're going back into that that we're learning this ancient metaphysical knowledge of our ancestors and we're connecting back with our ancestors. That's where that's what we need to be doing, ladies. Because we, we, that we had a spiritual power on this land that was boundless. And it's going to be that way again. It's starting to be that way again. That's why you have Queen P. That's why you have a lot of us women. We are being very uh, smart and intelligent about mating or being with a man. We are really starting to analyze the behavior of men. The psychology of men. 
We are requesting better standards here. And if you're going to talk about us being a God, you go tell the whole story and stop stroking your whole e uh, ego where the one where you're being parasitic while we're propping your ass up and making you look good. Y'all didn't have these kind of, you, you, you know, and that's why you'll see them too. You'll never see them, a lot of them, go beyond, go deeper in, 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 into their, uh, their spirituality. They're going to stay with the history part. You're not going to see them really connect spiritually with that divine feminine energy. There's no real power there. If you can't interface with that divine feminine energy and get in line, you ain't got no power, buddy. You, you, uh, you, you're just toxic. I saw that in Irma Johnson. But he said he'll, he'll about to eat for faith and all that, that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 but girl, I, ain't no way you throw that woman up under the bus like that and talk about that woman like that. You a grown man. You single. She single. What you got to be embarrassed about? Why you have to throw that woman up under the bus like that? That's what I don't understand. Did nobody care about I didn't care about you having sex with her. You single. You ain't married. So what's she exotic dancer? You get to choose who you have sex with. It's none of our business. As long as you being there for the people, that's all that matters to me. Really, you should have told people your business, your business, who you won't choose to be with, who you choose to be with. You got this woman up here looking crazy and she really ain't did nothing wrong. It's because you got some type of shame uh, being with her. You, 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 you had some issues going on. I could go on and on with the bull crap that they do. You know. Uh, the, the stuff that they get, they 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 do to try to get ahead. They have always been parasitic. They always try to get by uh, uh, on these women. They always need a woman to prop them up. They can never. They just too weak to do things on their own. They want to be held to a lower standard. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Who want a man like that? But every other man, every other culture man, they standing up. They're being the man that they need to be to provide, protect their families. They're being whatever they need to be. And these women holding them to a high standard and they walking in the shoes. They not complaining. They ain't talking about they women the way you talking about yours. Y'all make whole podcasts about shit like this. Whole podcasts, whole conversations, whole lives about just talking about women. Because you don't want to do better. I'm telling you women, they still, that you don't understand what happened to us and they still doing to us. Do not walk in these subordinate, uh, subordinate roles for them. Do not prop them up. It is time for us to raise gods. It is time for us to reset the blueprint. And if that means that we have to be picky and choosy who we have our children with, because we need to do better. We don't need this garbage that's out here now. Leave this garbage out here. Leave this garbage out here. Let them fend themselves. Them, them the ones that are going get, to get their self caught up in the system. Because they don't want to do the character work. And these are the men that we had. We would have children. Yes, we, we, it, it, you would see polyandry. Or if you did see polygamy, it was one man. And believe me, if, if, if that man, we, he, we did choose to be with him, that man had some, he was able to take care of all those women. He was able to take care of all those women. He wasn't, he wasn't gaining nothing from these women. He was able to take care of all of these women and they had their own too. He didn't need nothing from them. This is how they were able to build nations. That's, that's how that was done. Even polyandry. When women will have more than one husband. It, yeah, that was a thing. 
They had this because they, they didn't want to have no garbage. They what they wasn't they what wasn't uh um uh, having children to just be having children. They were working. We were making gods. We were having children with 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 high intelligence. Therefore, we had civilizations that had high intelligence. Our women were teachers. See, y'all don't talk about that. They talk about the Moors. They went and did this. Who taught them? Where they learning from? Where they learning from? Where they learning from? All oh, the Moors, they did this and that. Where they learning from? Where they mama at? They wouldn't be where they at today and where that mama, where's they mama at? How come ain't nobody talking about they mama? Black woman, know your story. Tell your story. Stand up your story. Stop telling their story. It's time for us to tell our story in our words and tell it all the time. And not listen to him tell his story and at the end of his story. He say, oh, you know the black woman is God. No. It's time for us to tell our story. And, and, and uh, tell our story and he just stand beside us. That's it. Because that his story was really supposed to be him just standing by, beside us. Enforcing the laws of the land. Not getting pulled in with this other crap. That's what happened to the Moors. That's why when you see the Moors go into Spain, they darkened the whole civilization. They said they darkened the whole civilization. That's where you see human trafficking and all this stuff come into play. When you see these Moors come in here and start against uh, these men come into play. Then you see this witch hunt come on the play where they're trying to ruin all these, you know, get rid of all these women that got this spiritual power, the spiritual connection, the remnants of that. They're trying to get rid of all of that. Women know what happened to you. Know what happened to you. Go to the land. Go to Arizona. Look at the ancient Egypt there. Go to the Mississippi River, the Nile River. That's the real river. Go visit those mounds. Visit those places. Connect with the land. Meditate out there. I see a lot of young people doing it already. I see a lot of young women already, already, and I'm proud of a lot of you that's doing the work because truly it's going to be you to reset this thing. But listen to this message from the ancestors' mothers. It's time to raise gods again. It's time to raise gods again and hold them to a higher standard. And it's time for us to walk in our power and tell our story and know our story and connect back to this land, get back to that knowledge of the land. Find out as much as you can about yourself. Don't just know his story. Know her story. Know your grandmother's story. Know your ancestor mother's story. Go listen to that meditation I made to help you connect with your ancestral mothers. What you talking about? All this belong to you. Every inch of this land belong to you. You best to know it. Us women, we had a power. See, we weren't caught up in this race thing because we already knew. We already knew we, we birthed civilizations. They come out a multitude of colors for, for the woman of color. We didn't have that until this patriarchy turned, you know, come on now. Do your research. Do your research, beloved. Know who you are. Know who you are. This is the channel message from, from the ancestor mothers. It's time to wake up.
Remember. Remember who you are. 